Welcome back to the Roadshow. Climbing Mount Everest is something that many people attempt, but never complete. But one teenager is proving that if you really set your mind to something, you can accomplish it. And joining us on the Roadshow this morning is Jordan Romero. He's actually the youngest person ever to summit Mount Everest. That is an unbelievable accomplishment, first of all. Thank you for joining us on the show. And Thank you. Tell us a little bit how you decided that you wanted to start climbing mountains. Was it a family thing, your dad and mom? I was, just... about, I was about nine years old yeah. in fourth grade, and I saw this mural of the seven summits, which are the highest point on every right. continent. And uh, I just did, did more research as it just fascinated me. And my dad picked me up from school one day, and I said, you know, Dad, dad do you know what the seven summits are? Uh -huh. And we, we just kind of talked about them. And, and we came to a conclusion, you know, when we came home and yeah. met with Karen and we just concluded that we were actually going to do them. You're going to do it. You set your mind to it and you did it. Mm -hmm. Now, how many have you done? Uh, six out of the seven. Six so out of the seven. All right. Mm -hmm. So when you said you were going to prepare to climb Mount Everest, what did you have to do to get it together? Because this isn't something that you just on a whim do, obviously. You've got to prepare for that. It, it was a lot we had to do to prepare. I yeah. mean, it was, um, it was hard training. Yeah. It cannot be done by, every, by everybody. You know, right. If it, if it were easy, everybody would be doing it. Mm -hmm. So it's it was a lot of uh, physical training we had to do. We live in a 7,000 foot community called Big Bear Lake, right, um, in Southern California. Is this from Everest here that we're looking at? This is on Mount McKinley right okay. here that we're wow. actually looking on, which is actually one of the harder mountains like up there with Everest, yeah. coldest, most technical. But with uh, Big Bear, where we live at 7,000 feet, it's great altitude training. So we just do whatever we do, a lot of uh, physical uh, activities. Mm -hmm. I love to ski, so I'm skiing all winter. Oh, yeah. I'm, uh, we're snowshoeing, we're running, we're mountain biking, and there's just so much to do up there in Big Bear. You know, you got hundreds of miles of single track and everything, uh -huh. so much to do. So we, we're going to the gym as well. And, and I think that with all the seven summits, you know, in the past four years, I think you know, with all of, with all the other previous mountains as a build up to Mount Everest, I think it took about four years of wow. experience building yep. and that kind of stuff. Well, it's important to build on that for sure. Now, we understand that you're trying to bring attention to peaks across our country. And uh, why did you decide to do that? You want to hit like all, all 50 states, right? All 50 states. Yeah, we've been traveling all around the world uh -huh. and not much our country. So we want to see the true yeah. beauty of the country and travel around. So we're working on the high point in all the 50 states mm -hmm. right now, which I came up with the idea when we were on a training climb going back home from Mount Whitney, the mm -hmm. highest point in California. And I said, Dad, what do you think about, what do you think about climbing all the 50 states? Yeah. And he was just like, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. Big road trip. I love <laughs> Big it. Big road trip, yeah. Yeah, we want to let everybody know on the road show today exactly. that you're going to be climbing the highest point in Rhode Island, which I have to tell you is a source of humor for a lot of us here in the state because it is... 800 feet. 800 feet. Uh, and it's, Jeremoth Hill. Right. And you're doing it today, actually, right? Doing it today. You know, we were, we're going to be at the base at 1030 for uh -huh. any kids who want to join us. It'll take you seven minutes to do it. Take, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, yeah, around that time, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's not, it's not all about just trying to get all the states done. It's also about uh -huh. inviting other kids to come. Yeah. And plus, with all the, uh, with all the high, with high point in all the states, uh -huh. it's going to be about um, motiv motivational speaking, and touring around the country to speak to schools and getting the message out to kids to find their own Everest, set their goals, getting active, getting the family involved in eating right. Yeah, it's so important. So it's, many. It's what this country needs. I exactly, and we thank you for motivating us and motivating some of the young people you. in Rhode Island. We hope you'll get a good crowd today at 10:30, right? 10:30, be there. All right, you, you and your can. family. We wish you the best of luck with everything and your future climbs as well. And if Jordan inspired you and you'd like to learn more about his big tour, just head to foxprovidence.com.